Let us now study the noise and communication system. Noise is basically unwanted electrical impulses which are caught by signal over the channel. Here we can say caught or induced by the signal over the channel. Now in this situation, when we talk about a communication channel, channel we have discussed that it is a media through which the information is communicated over long distances from one place to another and information is submitted by transmitter to the channel and finally it is received by the receiver. And in transmitter there are transducer and receiver also there are transducers which converts the signal into the required formats like here uh, this information sender and this is the final information receiver. Now over the channel when uh, here an electrical signal is there, say if the signal is a pure sinusoidal wave which contains the informations from the information sender. It may be a mixture of several harmonics for constituting the information rather than a single frequency. But here for analyzing and understanding of communication system, we analyze it for a sinusoidal wave only. As we know that any information can be converted into a given waveform by superposition of several harmonics which will increase the quality of signal. So here if an electrical signal is fed to the channel, then in this channel over the long distance, no matter which kind of channel it is, whether it is a wire media or it is a wireless atmospheric media or it is a optical fiber or any other kind of channel is there. In all channels, some unwanted impulses are caught and when the signal reaches the receiver, here the signal will be slightly in distorted shape. The sinusoidal form is distorted due to the impulses of noise within the channel. And when it is fed to the receiver, in the receiver there must be a noise suppression filter or a noise filter which has to be used. Otherwise, the final information which is received by the receiver in distorted form. If it is a voice channel, then the crackling of voice will be there or feeding of voice will be there. If it is the picture or a video signal, then in the picture or video some kind of blurness or snow feeding would be there. So for proper reception of information by the information receiver in receiver, there must be a mechanism to reduce noise. So a typical receiver consists of two things. So one is a noise filter which is used from the channel, which our information is fed to the receiver in electrical form. First it is passed through the noise filter and then it is finally given to the electrical receiver which is having some amplification units as well as transducer and finally it is fed to the information receiver. It is delivered to the information receiver in the understandable form. So we can never eliminate noise from the channel. In every different kind of media through which the information is propagating from transmitter to the receiver, some kind of noise will always be added. That's why study of noise in all kind of channels is very important. In future, if any of you guys are going to study about uh, communication engineering, you'll study in detail about all different kind of noises which are caught by different kind of uh, channels used in communication systems.